Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Okay, well, I remember the little lady is set up doing another job, so uh, we are going to... Oh, man, that's not good. Uh, I got a couple of castle nuts here. We're going to make them into jam nuts. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's a little bit off. That looks good. All right. Tighten it up. Gonna have to change a bit. Bring our tail stock back. Change the angle a little bit. There we go. All right, let's go. Looks good. I think we can just come in with the deburring tool. And deburr that thread. That should do the trick. Let's do number two. That's pretty good. Okay. This one's cooled down a little bit, so we'll go ahead and take this over to the grinder and just take off those burrs. All right, well, we got both of our holes drilled. Now I think what we want to do is take it over and test it and make sure that it's all going to work out just fine. All right, we slide that, slide that uh, little stand up into the groove and that sucker fits beautifully and slides nicely. Okay, I think we got her. All right, we're gonna take the last couple of cuts with a high-speed bit because these cheap Chinese bits are pointless. Okay, we'll use carbide. 
Well, not that carbide though. We're going to have to go hunt down a bit. Be right back. All right, we got ourselves a 60 degree angle there. Now, let's change bits. All right, that's it. I can't do this anymore. Both of my other lathes are uh, set up, and I'm I'm forced to use the um, uh, what is this one? <laughs> the clausing, and it's a good lathe. It's just that uh, it's got this rattle to it. And what am I taking? Less than ten thousand. It's and it's jumping all over the place. So I think what I need to do is take the carriage apart and see what's going on. So we're going to do that next. Okay, so uh, we've cut one, uh, and, you know, and I went in and started working on this thing and filming it, and uh, it got so complicated that I had to concentrate on one thing at a time, and I took this thing apart, put it back together again, the, of course the camera turned itself off, and uh, the rest is what you might say history. So... We need to cut this at a 45, or no, to 60, but we can do that later. Right now, we're going to cut a length, and let's see what we want. And, by the way, uh, this thing is working markedly better. Uh, this whole carriage was just sloppy, and so I took... Uh, the piece that holds the carriage kind of clamps the carriage to the bed and it was loose by 20 thousandths so I went in and shaved uh, 19 thousandths off of it and now it's much snugger and I tightened up a couple other things and found a couple of other problems um, but all solvable while I was putting it together now the the uh, gear drive works pretty good too I'll you know, you can hardly hear it. Nice. Alright, so. We're going to start by trimming off this part here. Alright, well it's uh, 45 minutes later and uh, we had to go all the way back to a new uh, bit. But we've got to cut and uh and uh you know uh this shape will probably last me next 30 years you know i'll have to 
sharpen it from here to there but then you know probably 10 years from now I'll take an eighth of an inch off of that so it's worth the time at least you always hope Alright, let's see what we've got now. And we're definitely too low. Somewhere in about there. Let's see what that looks like. That is not mild steel. Sometimes you can't tell when you're cutting with the bit, but you can always tell with the hacksaw. That did not cut. We're gonna go find a, a milder piece of steel. We'll be back. Okay, let's check the uh, taper in this. Sixteen and fourteen, so at one thousand or two thousand taper. Can I live with that? 16 and a half. Thirteen and a quarter. So that's three thousandths. And which way is it tapering? Down. So we need to come this way. Twenty two twenty two and a half. Try it again. Twenty two and a twenty one and a half. And twenty two and a half. I think I can live with that. One thousandths taper. Yeah. Okay, so drag it back. And we are going for five eighths, I believe. And cut the other one at five-eighths and this one's going to have some threads on it so uh, it will uh, just be slightly adjustable Okay, so we're just a little bit above <clears throat> our mark. I'm going to back this up a little bit and <clears throat> bring that back. 
and let's bring this out. It's probably pretty hot, so find a rag to bring it out with. Some place like right in there. So we're at 5.25, And there the nut fits. Okay. So now we'll back this off for now. We're going to put it in compound. Breaker. There we go. All right, let me go find the, um, oh, here it is right here. The die. And we're going to flip that around and bring it in backwards. And see if we can bottom out that thread onto the shaft. And this is where you got to be kind of careful because you can break the teeth of the die. But you just kind of go in gently. Okay, let's see if the, or how the, uh, The nut's gonna go. How could it miss? And even though it won't bottom out because the die doesn't reach that far, but it came awfully close. And we've got adjustment there, and that's the key. Now we need to cut that 60 degree taper. And you ask, how, to, how are we going to do that? And I say, I don't know. Okay, let's get back to... We didn't really need the compound. I uh, don't know what I was thinking. Late in the afternoon. My brain doesn't always work so well. Okay. 
So first thing we want to do is bring this over to 60 degrees. Okay, I forgot. I need to take this part of the shaft down to half inch. So let's take this out. I think we can just do it like it is. And where are we at? We are at... Okay, where are we at here? We're at one, two, three over 500. I'm thinking we could just take that down with a file. It might be a better deal. A little above zero, right in that spot there. Okay, it's the next morning and uh, we're ready to continue with this, uh, this little project here. Okay. It's telling me the battery is almost dead, so we're going to trade uh, batteries. All right, we're back. We got a live battery. We're ready to go. And that's a pretty good point. Okay. We got the one. Now I want to check out this one and make sure that it's concentric. So let's just put it in there and see what it looks like. I'm, I think I did it concentric. can't really tell <clears throat> maybe we'll put it in the uh, in the the uh, collet head because this is 5 8 I'm almost positive six two five so uh, we'll put it in the collet head and see what it looks like Okay, well we got it in a collet, and let's just turn it on and see what it does. I'd say it looks pretty concentric to me. I'm not even feeling a, a hint. Okay, good. We know that that's where we want to do a... Um, a place to be able to grab it with a with a wrench so we can adjust it
And I think that probably the best thing to use is the square collet head. It looks like we've got a 5 8 uh, collet in there. Look at that. Could you ask for more? Close it up. Bring this over. got what's our size here we are at 970 <clears throat> and I would say we go to three quarters 750 so 870, that's 100, 220, so 125. Okay, and that should give us three quarters. Uh, fairly sloppy three quarters. And I realized halfway through here that I really didn't need to do this one because this isn't the adjustable side. The other side is. All right, whatever. Let's see if that works. Like a dream. Okay. And we've got our two ends. A little bit of file work, take some burrs off and we'll be set. So those can go there. We'll come through and do this one and we'll take a measurement from here to here and from here to here and then we'll put the other one in and do the same thing. I think that's the only way out. Okay, well, the wife walked in, and you know how it goes. Uh, the woman wants some attention. You give it to her. It's an easy thing. Okay, we're going to start. We're three quarters down and two inches in. And I do a really slow start to get that to center to hit right. And that looks pretty good. quarters away. So I think because we're trying to be fairly accurate here, 
Let's go ahead and test this out again.